In the Kitchen with WSLS 10 News, sponsored by FNS Building Innovations. Build smart, build right. The holidays are here and this is the time where we always have guests coming over and for some tips on entertaining and feeding the masses, we have our expert Jamie from Texas Roadhouse. Thanks so much for being here today. Anytime, anytime. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so you are going to cook up a great meal for us today. Absolutely. So we're going to make some of our legendary ribs. That's our staple product. Um, first, we're going to start with a little dry rub. So I'm mm -hmm. going to let you make the dry rub. Here, Perfect. Okay? okay. All right. So we're going to start with a little paprika first. Okay. And just toss okay. everything in there. Okay. All right. So this is going to be black pepper. Perfect. And then we have white pepper. And we're going to have sugar. Oh, okay. Yeah. And a little bit of uh, chili sauce, uh, chili seasoning. Chili seasoning. Yep. All right. So then we're going to take this little guy. Okay. Stir it on. Whisk it up. Yep. All right. Nice little mixture there. We believe in having all of our ingredients uh, pretty, uh, you know, from, from scratch. Yeah. We don't like to skip any steps here. Right. Well, we're so. learning all the steps today. <laughs> so we also have our ribs here. So okay. I'm going to take these guys out and uh, we're going to set them right here. And I'm going to do the dirty part here, okay? Okay. So, <laughs> so we're going to actually, we score the back of these. Um, also, you'll be able to see a little bit. It's it's kind of hard to tell, but we actually mm -hmm. score it, which is uh, basically you're just breaking a little bit of that membrane in there. And that way allows the seasoning to get in there and allows the heat to really evenly uh, cook it. So we're going to rub this up really good. I know that's that's the fun mm -hmm. part there, nice and cold part there. Mm -hmm. But the trick is to really, really rub it into the actual skin of it. That way the flavors really stay in there when it's cooking. Okay. Um, so then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the oven um, for 225 degrees. Oops. Okay. And really got to seal it down in there. And then we actually put a little bit of water in there just for a Add a little bit of moisture. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna really seal it up really good, like a like a nice crimp to it. Okay? okay. And then close it up, and then we're gonna put that in the oven for 225 degrees for about two to two and a half hours. Okay. Uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that the internal temperature is about 200 degrees. Uh, you don't wanna get too hot because you're gonna dry out the ribs, but you don't wanna get too cold, of course, and have raw ribs. So that will go into the, to the oven for about, like I said, about two to two and a half hours. You just want to make sure you check the internal temperature right in the middle of it's always the best place. Okay. So then after that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have a finished product and that's going to be the nice, beautiful rib there. Yeah. Okay. So this look amazing. And you, the best thing about this is, is I know for like holiday get togethers, you can actually cook this ahead of time mm -hmm. and you can get it like a nice finished product, like in when it's in the oven. Mm -hmm. And then you can just heat it up in the oven for about four minutes on each side, preferably a grill like this. Um, but an oven would work for about four minutes on each side. And then you're just going to want to baste it with some barbecue right before you put it in there because barbecue has a little bit of sugar in there. Okay. So the heat's going to let it caramelize and it's going to really, really sweeten it up. And that's what's going to give it that really good, smoky, awesome flavor. And that's what makes our ribs legendary versus yes, everyone else's. Yes, they are. They are amazing. And this is going to be a great meal for mm -hmm. guests coming over and a lot of guests, mm -hmm. which we get this time of year. Exactly. <laughs> and they're not going to leave hungry. And, and the wonderful thing is you can do all the hard, like heavy lifting, I guess you would say, mm -hmm. and really cook all the loins beforehand. And mm -hmm. then it's just going to, like I said, four minutes on each side and they're beautiful, ready to go. All right, that's a great holiday hack for us. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to dig into these. They look amazing. Thanks so much for coming in and sharing your expertise with us. Anytime. I know a lot of folks are going to really appreciate that for the holidays. And we'll have these step-by-step -step instructions on our website at WSLS.com.